what's up guys today i got another video for you guys today i'll be working on these uh 2013 kia optima so what i'll be doing i want to change the, the rear camera on this uh kia right here i'll show you uh what actually the car is doing when you put it in reverse the camera doesn't comes on so that means uh, the camera is damaged so i bought one from uh ebay to actually use one i bought it from ebay so that'll be i'll be using i'll be installing this hopefully it works so i'll just show you guys uh what actually when you put it car in reverse what it's doing follow me guys. so guys uh when you put the car on when you put the car on so you try to put it back in reverse so what you're expecting you expect the backup camera to show up but uh, when i put this in reverse you see that the backup camera is just blank that means uh you see that was doing is just blank it's not doing anything so definitely the camera due to there might be due to uh water going to the cameras that's why it's damaged so i'm just going to show you guys step by step on how to fix this problem so yeah mail so just guys just follow me as i uh work on this we don't need uh to take all these out all those are not coming in uh in order for you to take this out there's some bolt in there you gotta take the bolt out before you can actually pull this apart so you can have access to this you see you don't want to do you don't want this to happen to you so you have to take this out so you can have access to everything so just follow the connection me connection to the new uh the uh, the original one and also this is the camera right there so actually get this out this you get you gotta pull it down you pull it you see that's it once you pull it that was holding the camera in place that's the only thing that's holding in place you can see i'll show you guys so and after that the camera itself is free you see once you pull that out the camera itself is free so and after that you can wiggle the camera is free then you can wiggle it you can wiggle And that's it. So you can see the camera is out. The job is super simple. So after that, then you have to get these connections out. That's it. So this connection, there's a white clip right here. You push it down, you'll be able to get this connection out. And after that, you get a puller. You get a puller, you pull this out. So once you pull this out, then you'll be able to play with this. All right, guys. So, guys, after you put out the old one and you put the new one back in place, before you can couple everything back, you gotta make sure you go back into your car and start it. Try putting reverse. Make sure the one you put it in there is working properly before you actually uh, put everything back to bed. Uh, everything back. To, everything back together. I'm back on. So now I want to check if what I did, it's working. I'll probably you know. What I replace is working. So I put it in reverse. You see? Oh, awesome. That means the new camera I got, it's working. It's super simple, easy, straightforward. Actually, the trunk was up. That's why you can, I mean, you see, but at least you can see it's no longer black. So it's super simple. You can do this yourself. You don't need, you don't need a professional to do this for you i just did it in less than five minutes all right guys if you're new to this channel if you're new to this channel please kindly consider to subscribe give uh, the video a thumbs up and uh please comment and i'll see you in the next one bye